A Randall family has returned home after a wild ride. Debbie Peterson gave birth in a car as her husband Chris drove her to St. Joseph's Hospital in Brainerd early Wednesday morning. Becky Parker spoke with the family today about their delivery drive. Debbie and Chris Peterson are at home in Randall celebrating the birth of their new baby boy, Gavin. It's a calmer scene than the mad rush here in the wee Wednesday morning hours. Yeah, it's pretty wild night. It's one day I'll never forget. <laughs> Debbie had been up for hours with back pain when her water broke. Their car was out of gas, so they borrowed Debbie's mother's Chevy Malibu and sped toward the hospital, 30 miles away in Brainerd. He's like, don't push, don't push. I'm like, I can't help it. I'm like, it's coming. I'm like, we're not going to make it. He's like, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. But just blocks from St. Joseph's Hospital, baby Gavin decided to make his grand entrance into the world. That's when the head and the shoulders were coming out. When they pulled up to the emergency room doors, there was no time to bring Debbie inside. Doctors rushed out to the car and finished delivering Gavin in the front seat. They wrapped the healthy eight-pound boy in Debbie's jacket. Fastest labor I've ever went through. Debbie says her water broke at 4.15 and Gavin was born at 4.36. Hospital officials had to check the parking lot surveillance tape to determine the time of birth. He had a hard time oh. interpreting because he started coming out a block before the hospital. Hours later, the Petersons received an anonymous gift from a woman who witnessed the unusual scene in the parking lot that morning. Her uncle is, is in ICU, so it was just a miracle for her to see the birth of our child. Debbie says she looks forward to one day sharing the story with Gavin. I guess maybe when he gets older, telling him the crazy story, <laughs> the crazy ride he went through. Becky Parker, Lakeland News. And Gavin is the Peterson's second child. They also have a two-year-old girl named Alyssa. 